Hi, I'm in the dumpster room and check this out. It's an LG, what is it, like 70 inch? Compared to the size of these dumpsters, it's absolutely enormous. Or is it 60, oh, somebody's bought a 65. Anyway, um, it doesn't look like there's a, it's a broken screen, I don't think. Anyway, so, interesting, pretty heavy. Can't seem to get it, I'll have to get a trolley, but then it's only got one uh, stand on it. There is another one, another LG TV over here, smaller, but uh, that's got a cracked screen. I've, every, I've already looked at that, and check this out. Don't bother giving away your uh, furniture, your office furniture. No, just, uh, you know, smash it to bits. No worries, and the uh, garbage fairies will take it away for you. Unbelievable. Use gaming chair, anyone? Only way to get this out is on a flat trolley. So, <laughs> works a treat. I'll just uh, wheel it back, because you can't stand it up, because this stand is just useless. Um, it's just got the one thing at the front. No, those aren't my skid marks. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to ride the thing through the underground car park, but uh, I don't think front glass would take too kindly to that, so piece of cake. I, I don't see any broken glass. Hmm, there's got to be something wrong with it, surely. And up we go. It's a 65 inch, it just fits in the lift. I am standing right up against the doors. <laughs> Somehow, though, I don't think it's going to uh, fit through the door of the lab. Yeah, I'll just drag it in. It's just awkward to carry, that's all. It's not so much the weight. Can you see the speakers? There you go. Got a little array of them. Right up the side there. Neat. Like that, that's a circular one. That looks like your tr more traditional oval one. Maybe some base. Outlet down the bottom? Yeah, I think I can see like a base port. There's another circular one, I think. And nope, it didn't fit through the door. I would have had to have uh, taken off the bottom feet. Anyway, just get a small dolly like this and uh, she'll be right. I'm trying to clean out the lab. I'm trying to get stuff out of here and here I am bringing stuff in. Oh, better use both hands. Get stuff out of my lab and all my camera gear is uh, gone over to the new lab. So, but I do have my old, uh, well, my mailbag uh, camera, which is my uh, next Sony Next VG30. So. Here it is. I mean, it's a beautiful TV. It's absolutely stunning. And it dates from uh, 2014. So it's not particularly old and it's a 4K Ultra HD. I have never found a 4K TV before. This is just nuts. So it's only four years old, but there's got to be something wrong with it. Look, check this out. It's got a little pop-up NSA spy cam. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, well, I don't see any cracks in it at all, which is uh, quite common when you find these things in the dumpsters. Didn't find the remote control for it, but <laughs> who cares? If it works, I, look, there's got to be something wrong with it. Let's power it up. Here we go. Uh, yep. Okay. Come on. Uh, has it got controls on it? <laughs> maybe not. I expect to see maybe, you know, one of the LEDs on the top or something, like a standby power LED. Yeah, I don't know. I'll resort to the manual. See if there's like, I don't know, <laughs> like if there is supposed to be a standby LED, and then I'll at least know. You're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. There's a joystick at the back. It works. It freaking works. This looks fine. Unbelievable. There's like a joystick. Like there's a joystick thing at the back, and the uh, like the logo lights up. This bloody look. This bloody thing works. It's got like a unbelievable. No way. This look. There's got to be like something else. Surely. Got to be shitting me. <laughs> like people um, ask. Like seriously, do I find this stuff in the dumpster? And seriously, I do. It's a corporate office uh, dumpster. It serves um, uh, like a little industrial. Well, it serves like a little uh, complex around here. So there's, you know, probably, you know, 100 plus uh, companies and they're always moving in and out and doing whatnot. And uh, there was obviously another box down there. I didn't get a good look at it, but they had another 65 inch uh, TV there. But this has got like four HDMI inputs. It's got a uh, USB 3. Um, <laughs> it's got LAN. It, like it's, it's four years old. 
But this would have been, I don't know, is, is it top of the line? I'm not sure, but it would have been like a pretty schmick back in 2014 for a full K, 64K, 65 inch HD TV, and they dumped it. Like, well, they didn't toss it in the dumpster, so like they carefully placed it um, in front of the dumpster. So like, <laughs> like people often, if it works, if they know it works and they toss it out, um, and they just don't need it for some reason, um, often they'll put like a note on it, like, you know, fully working, take me, or something like that. Um, but look, all, all across the screen, that looks perfect. Nothing wrong with the backlight. Um, it, it doesn't look like anything's cracked. There's no, like, striped, you know, columns, rows of columns. Let me try and hook something else into it. I'll see if I can cobble something together. Unfortunately, everything's gone to the new lab. It's actually Sunday here, and I haven't got my swipe card yet. I've got my key for the new lab. Don't have the swipe card, so unfortunately, I can't go in and uh, get stuff. But maybe I've got, like, a Raspberry Pi and a... HDMI cable I can cut. Yeah, I've definitely got a HDMI. Let me let me try and input something. This is insane Now unfortunately It looks like I can't do anything like I can't access the menu or anything doesn't matter where I go up down left Right all I've got is those three options. So all I can do is select the input so I can't go in and like um, You know into the setup and do anything like that unfortunately. There we go. I can adjust sound I can go channel up, channel down, but unfortunately the menu, all I've got is the input, so what? Well, there's your problem. Um, HDMI, I'm using one of the HDMI inputs, and like it displays the on-screen text is just fine. So like uh, the like a display, uh, like an input uh, processor uh, board or something, maybe it's just that one channel, but like, I, I, maybe it's, you know, the entire uh, input board or something like that. So let me try another HDMI. This is coming from my uh, PC. So um, maybe it just hasn't decoded it, but no, I don't think so. I think there's something wrong here. So here we go. You plug it in. Sorry, this is like the best I can do. The reach on this thing is just... Uh, come on. Input. HDMI 4. There we go. So it's displaying... And, uh, Ah, yeah, look, doesn't like that. Doesn't like that at all. PCM, you see, it detected at 1080p. It, it said 1080p there, um, 60 or whatever, which is coming from my PC, but yeah, look at that. So that's why they turfed it. Um, yeah, the HDMI input board. Hmm. Well, that's kind of fixable. And I'm afraid that that is a Raspberry Pi. So, yep. Um, HDMI input board, cactus. And that's and the video. video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you heard that. Um, that was the uh, audio uh, just feeding back from the camera. So, yeah. Um, looks like a, yeah, video decoder board is shot. Apart from that, I mean, the screen's in great condition. That's the thing that determines whether or not this thing is uh, salvageable or not. And what happens if we pop the camera up? Is it like... Oh, smart TV camera is open. Hello, that's it. Oh, so there's only one thing left to do. Take it apart. Let's go. And I found my studio lights. Woohoo! <laughs> my Wasp Studio remote control anyway. Let's see. No, I think we're good. Here we go. Ta-da! We're in like Flynn. Well, there you go. That's exactly what we uh, expect. Main logic board over here. It's one big board, though, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I was hoping that there'd be a separate, like, HDMI input board or uh, something like that. But it doesn't look like there is. So that's all on the one board. So, yeah, like I was hoping maybe, uh, you know... At, at worst, like a simple board replacement or something like that. Anyway, got our T-Con board down there. It's uh, not likely to be that because all the menu and everything else works just fine. It's the HDMI input uh, decoding that's the problem. And, of course, the requisite uh, mains input power supply here. We've got um, Samyong caps. Not exactly the best thing in the business. So, yeah, well, way to go, LG. Um, 
the the yellow ones might be like a they'd be a low ESR versions of the um, Samyongs. So yeah, anyway, it's a nice design layout wise. I like it. These are really interesting. We've got uh, like they're not they're like plastic. Uh, they'd be uh, your heat conductive uh, pads. So they're really really quite fascinating. I haven't. They're, they're sort of like hard. They're not a. Yeah. Not sure. I haven't seen those before, I don't think. And of course, one of the first things you're going to be looking for is a bad cap on any of these things. I've done videos on those before. Very common fire mode. They've got no electrolytics at all um, in these uh, on this main board. So, not a problem there. And these Samyong caps, you can see the vents in the top. There's no bulges in them at all. They've got a lot in parallel on the different rails there. Uh, what's that? DC DC 24 volts. There's a power on link. That's nice. You can get in there and uh, and measure uh, rail current and stuff like that. That's pretty neat. But oh, there's our pin map. There you go. So there are all our different voltages. 24 volts, 12 volts, 3.5, 3.5 ground. So yeah, I'm not going to uh, suspect the caps just yet. I'm going to uh, get a meter out, at least measure those rails, see what's doing. You'll notice the uh, subwoofer here. Look at this. There you go. Got a bit of movement in those. And uh, so that's the cavity up there. It goes out the back, of course. And uh, looks like um, it also contains the wiring going over to the... Uh, the side speaker bar as well, which of course goes up into there and goes into the side bar like that. And the speakers are in the side bar as we saw. All right, let's measure some voltages. Please excuse the crudity of the model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. Uh, usually you're gonna get a uh, chassis ground like this so you don't have to fumble for another point. We've got a 3.5 volt rail here. Bang on, look at that, no worries. And 12 volt here, we've got a double link. So I'm presuming that's got to be heavy current. And well, 11.78, good enough because uh, I expect that to be under heavy load. So that's to, like powering most stuff. They're gonna have local regulation over on the processor board. So yeah, that's, that's good enough. And up here is 24 volts. So there's a power on link, I'm gonna, Measure that. 3.3, okay. So that's a digitally thing, but it doesn't say that's going over to the processor though. 24, there you go, 24.4. So those rails look decent. And if you want to measure the ripple, we can get in there with the AC. And there's NAF all on 24 volts. Power on here. NAF all, 3.5. Oh yeah, half a bee's dick. And 12 volts, there should be maybe some more ripple on that. Nope, it's good. So I'd say those caps, no wackers. Main power supply, thumbs up. And all the text on there is really quite small. I'm not gonna take the board out, so I've got like a uh, mega lamp head, which I use to uh, just have a squeeze around here. There's no electrolytics on here. I mean, there could very well be a busted uh, ceramic cap. One of the local regulators down here for the HDMI section perhaps, but they are doing some like uh, local regulation. So like like heavy duty stuff you can tell by the inductor there, inductor there, inductor there. There's one up there. The HDMI stuff over here, well maybe it could be that one because that it looks like there's a, sort of like a HDMI input processor maybe and that's that could be so it could be that section or or this, uh, which looks like it might go into that bigger chip up there. I'm not going to bother looking at the uh, numbers and all that sort of jazz. Just playing it by ear at the moment. All right, so let's just take one of these uh, DC to DC converters here as an example. Let's probe the inductor there. 1.1 volts, that sounds like a rail. And maybe these ceramic caps down here are the input. Nut, nah, wrong side. There we go, yeah, so it is taking the uh, 12 volts. We've got some uh, drop across there. So that's a 12 to 1.1 volt uh, converter. 1.1 sounds like one of those like really low level like FPGA, uh, you know, uh, really advanced logic rails. So I think that's fine. And I've checked all these other ones. This is uh, 1.2 volts, 1.2, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 
3.3 and 1.2 again up here and that makes sense like 1.2 for like a high like a really uh modern high density uh uh, logic uh, you know custom ASIC device up there um, there's only you know the one 3.3 here everything else would maybe be uh, some sort of you know local LDO uh, type stuff things like that uh, test pads haven't really found any yet in terms of that but all the you know all the local regulation looks okay so you know, it, it's hard to tell at this stage, but unless you've got, like, experience with these things and go, you know, servicing these every day, oh, yeah, I know that chip fails all the time. This thing just doesn't have the balls. They just fall off, you know, dry joints, whatever. Um, you know, they crack with heat or, you know, expansion, all that sort of jazz. So, yeah, so at this stage, um, nothing obvious, really. Bummer. Because you always hope for just one of those obvious faults, you know, like a you know, a leaking or a bulging cap or or the rails aren't working, so you have something to start from. But at the moment, we have really nothing to go on apart from the fact that the HDMI inputs over here don't work. So that's it. Something there. Because, like, like all the re all the extra processing, all this works. So, you know, this is our uh, driver out here. Um, and so that's driving the output. And, you know, it's not the TCOM board, as I said, down here, which then drives the panel, because that's all working just fine. It's the inputs that are the problem. Well, sorry, but I'm going to have to uh, call it quits there. I connected a uh, long wire antenna to the RF input, and I can't pick up any of the uh, TV stations. It still says uh, no signal. So, yeah, not sure what the deal is. I've got to uh, finish packing up and moving my lab. But anyway... Hope you enjoyed that uh, dumpster dive. This one is uh, certainly um, worth like uh, troubleshooting further, uh, repairing this. If you have any experience with these uh, LG LCD uh, TVs, please let us know. I haven't done any research uh, at all. And as I mentioned before, yes, I really do find this stuff in the dumpster. They throw, as you can see, there's a fault in this thing. And they, like, it's just not worth their time to have it repaired. If you wonder why, like, if they're uh, like a, a lawyer or, a, you know, a doctor or, you know, any sort of uh, professional agency, their time is money. And it's just not worth their hassle. As, you know, as crappy as that sounds, it's just not worth their, they know it's not worth their time to, you know, uh, try and get something like this uh, repaired. They're better off just simply buying a new one. It's sad, I know, but, um, <laughs> yeah, like, you can understand, like, if it's a cracked screen or something like that, then it's, you know, BER, Beyond Economical uh, Repair, usually, unless you can, you know, find another uh, screen from another unit that's salvaged or something like that. But, yeah, I mean, if it's just... Like, if the screen's intact like this one, everything's fine, the backlight's fine, everything seems hunky-dory, and it's just like a processor-type um, thing. Obviously, we could get a complete board replacement. I'm sure that you could, you know, buy complete uh, boards or whatnot for this thing. So I was hoping that, you know, it'd, like, maybe, like, the TV would work. I don't know. Need to hook a proper antenna up. I am in the middle of the building here, so reception could just be garbage. Um, I might, <laughs> might have to try at the new lab maybe but anyway let me know what you think in the comments down below if you like the video as always give it a big thumbs up sorry for the impromptu uh nature of this one the lab is in disarray catch you next time